I'm very pleased now to welcome Peter Bookvar to the program, CIO at Bleakley Advisory. Peter, thanks so much for, for joining us on Street Signs this morning. I, I want to kick off with your take on the inflation debate in the U.S. and whether or not you're concerned about the economy overheating. Well, I think inflation, inflation, inflation uh, is going to be the, is the main story of the year. I'm in the camp that it is not transitory. Uh, inflation pressures didn't just start this year. Uh, it actually started about a year ago when everything shut down and we started to see price increases and supply shortages at the supermarket. And, and that was a sign to me that that was maybe the beginning of uh, supply chains getting really turned upside down because of COVID and not something that was so repairable so quickly. And yes, there are going to be some short-term supply issues that are causing price spikes that will sort of resolve itself. But we have to look at big picture here. We've had underinvestment in U.S. housing for 10 plus years. The supply is not going to come back anytime soon. You take oil. If you're a CEO of an oil and gas company and every single day you're hearing about some environmentalist or some government that wants to put you out of business, you're not going to be investing for the long term. So to me, oil and gas prices are going higher. Uh, it takes a couple of years to bring a copper mine back. We've had underinvestment for years. It's going to take two years to put semiconductor factory uh, online, which means that there's still, still going to be issues on the supply chain with semis, which then filters through uh, many other different manufactured products. Uh, so I think that this is going to linger more than people think. And, and one last point on this. Services inflation, at least in the U.S., is always persistently higher. Over the last 20 years, services inflation has averaged 2.7 percent. Goods, on the other hand, have averaged zero. So now you have good, higher goods prices, persistent services prices, and inflation that's going to linger, I believe, longer than people think. Peter, this obviously draws contrast to what the Federal Reserve claims it's thinking thus far about the inflation outlook. Assuming you are correct in, in your view, when do you think the Fed is going to come around to acknowledging that this inflation is not actually transitory? I think when we start to see the summer inflation stats, when we see June, July, August, when they can no longer use the easy comparison uh, excuse, I think if you're still seeing three tenths, four tenths, month over month CPI increases, uh, that's when the Fed is going to have to realize that maybe this is not so temporary. Now, inflation historically is cyclical. It's not necessarily long lasting. So I'm not necessarily looking for years of higher inflation, but it doesn't matter because the level of interest rates is still so low. The level of monetary accommodation around the world is still so extreme that there's no shock absorber. There's no cushion there for a bout of higher inflation. But uh, I, I think as we get, I think they're already going to be discussing tapering. But until they see that summer, those in summer inflation stats, I still think it won't be until the fall before they start implementing it. 